Hi, welcome to Pauline Young's channel. Before we begin, don't forget to click the like and the subscribe buttons. Also, please comment at below to let us know what is your thought. In this video, we will continue with the electric vehicle industry and cover for our Busan Malaysia stocks. In the last video, we have identified 8 segments related to the EV industry and they are the battery pack, the EV model, the EV controller, EV supply equipment, DC to DC converter, high voltage cables, power distribution module, and the vehicle interface control module. For the Malaysian companies, not all of the above segments are produced in Malaysia. We have identified top 5 EV industry related companies from Pusa, Malaysia, according to their market capitalization. Rank number 1 is Malaysian Pacific Industries Perhat MPI, with a market capitalization of 7.7 .7 billion ringgit. MPI produces silicon, carbide, SIC, power modules, and integrated chips, which are related to the vehicle interface control module segment as well as the power distribution module segment. The company venture into the silicon carbide SIC power modules offers promising prospects given the increasing popularity among electric vehicles manufacturers. MPI is riding on growing SIC adoption in the EVs, given its unique position as an exclusive back-end service provider for Cree, a semiconductor manufacturer in the US. The company has installed and commissioned the first four assembly lines to package SIC products for Cree in Ipoh. It is in discussion with the Cree to add more SIC assembly and packaging lines in view of the latest production ramp-up, with a new wafer fab scheduled to begin production in 2022. Although the contribution from the SIC power management packaging service is expected to be minimal, contributing only 2% to 5% to MPI's revenue in the financial year 2021-2022, CGSCMB research says it is excited about the growth opportunities in the SIC packaging beyond financial year 2022. Moreover, the research house believed the potential increase in the SIC packaging beyond 2022 will help MPI meet its target of deriving 50% sales from the automotive segment within the next 3 to 5 years. MPI is mainly engaged in the provision of OSAT and the manufacture and the sale of the lead frames. The automotive segment contributed 31% to revenue in the financial year 2020. The company is now trading at 37 ringgit as at 1st of March, PE 40. ROE 12%, profit margin 11%, dividend yield 0.7%. It has a very low debt to equity ratio of 0.03, and its cash reserve stood at 968 million ringgit. Rank number two is Great Tech Technology Berhard, with a market capitalization of 7.6 billion ringgit. Great Tech is an industrial automation solutions provider. It is related to the battery pack segment of the EV industry. Its unit, Great Tech Integration USA Inc is partnering with the US-based at least model vehicles to assist the later in developing an EV battery pack assembly production line at its headquarters in the Arizona. At least is a startup mobility technology company that is developing a fully EV platform. It is nearing the advanced stage of its battery pack development and intends to move to small scale production. Great Tech was transferred to the main market on December 28, 2020 after tremendous growth in its earnings and market capitalization. Its nine-month net earnings in 2020 came in at 59.33 million ringgit, up 63.5% year-on-year from 36.28 million ringgit and driven by a better gross profit margin of 45.94% versus 34.58%. As at November 13, 2020, its order book stood at 266.9 million ringgit and it's expected to last until the second half of 2021. As at March 1st, Great Tech was trading at 6 ringgit and 10 cents, PE ratio 84, ROE 32%, profit margin 35%, debt to equity ratio of 0.06, and cash reserves at 72 million ringgit. Rank number 3 is UWC Berhard with a market capitalization of 7.1 billion ringgit. UWC, an integrated chip producer, is related to the vehicle interface control module segment and the EV controller segment. The company was optimistic and confident in seeing growth in revenue and profit this year, based on the order books secured, which are mainly from the semiconductor and the 5G segment. They focus on the manufacturing of the front-end semiconductor equipment, especially wafer fabrication equipment and the 5G equipment. They believe this is the future, at least for the next three years. 
As at March 1st, UWC was trading at 6 ringgit and 45 cents with a P ratio of 104, ROE 29 percent, profit margin 28 percent, dividend yield of 0.3 percent, almost zero debt with 0.02 debt equity ratio, and the cash reserves valued at 73 million ringgit. Rank number four is DNO Green Technologies per heart with a market capitalization of 4.8 billion ringgit. DNO, a smart LED and integrated chip producer, is related to the EV supply equipment segment. DNO is poised to benefit from the growing LED content per vehicle, particularly in the EV segment. It is in the midst of increasing its equipment capacity to meet market demand. That is mainly driven by the increased implementation of infotainment system even in entry-level car models as well as growing demand for its exterior LED notably the real combination lamps. The company recently completed its second plant, which is about 270,000 square feet. It has order forecasts from key customers that extend until 2025, in line with the automotive industry practice, which has long roadmaps for new and facelift models. DNO has expanded its business to include the LED module design and manufacturing and integrated circuit design and development for LED applications in response to changing industry trends and customer requirements. As at 1st of March, the company was trading at 4 ringgit and 2 cents with a PE 94, ROE 12, profit margin 8.6%, debt to equity 0.26, and cash reserve at 66 million ringgit. Rank number 5 is Penta Master Corporation Berhard with a market capitalization of 4.5 billion ringgit. Penta Master, a power conversion circuit producer, is related to the DC to DC converter segment and the power distribution module segment. Penta Master will benefit from the rising penetration of the SIC in power management applications for the EVs by capturing opportunities in the EV battery market. The automated test equipment ATE provider foresees that the demand for its assembly and test equipment will increase, judging from the orders secured from the new global automotive component companies in Europe, the US and China. Pentamaster has been looking to reduce its reliance on the smartphone segment by expanding into the EV business. Progress has been encouraging, as revenue contribution from the automotive segment more than doubled to 25.3% as at end of September 2020 from 10% a year ago. As at March 1st, the company was trading at 6 ringgit and 29 cents, PE ratio 63, ROE 14%, profit margin 17%, almost zero debt with 0.01 debt equity ratio, and cash reserve stood at 437 million ringgit. The above analysis is for information purpose and we do not initiate a buy call or a sell call. At the point of recording, we do not hold any of the stocks mentioned in this video. Thank you.